What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Yo Corey G Show, episode eight, where I answer all your fitness questions. Today, we're gonna go over: Do I take protein powder? And how can I help you get those max squats up? Let's go. Yo, Corey G, we have our first question here from Danielle. Danielle says, you mentioned in one of your podcasts that the only supplements you take are from your line. Do you not take protein powder? What's up, Danielle? So a lot of people have asked me this lately about if I take protein powder. Now, I'll tell you, even previous to starting Max Up for Muscle, probably about a year before I left Muscle Farm, I really didn't take that much protein powder. I just started to get more onto eating more whole foods, and I felt better. Now, what I'll tell you is it still have its place. Will I produce protein powder again? Will I take protein powder again? I'm sure I will. And in some cases, especially in the hard gainers, they need extra protein. They need more calories. There's so many uses for it in today's uh, you know, kind of landscape. So I'm not gonna hate on protein powder. I will tell you that when we create one, whether it's a protein cookie, whether it's a bar, whether it's whatever it is, um, we will have something in the line eventually, but I currently do not take it. Um, on the anabolic fasting protocol that I follow, it's whole foods and it's lots of branch chains and the glutamine branch chain mix that we have at Max Effort Muscle. So, you know, it's still good for you. I just don't currently take it. Yo, Corey G, our next question here is from Rachel. Rachel says, I injured myself trying to hit a new PR for a back squat and I pulled my back. And now I also have been having issues with my hip. I've not been able to get back to the gym in a while, and I'm missing it. Do you have any tips on recovery and how to ease my way back into the gym? Hey, what's up, Rachel? Great question. So look, part of the iron game is you're going to battle some injuries from time to time. I've always thought in the past that I could cure myself, and sometimes I can. But this last time that I hurt myself deadlifting 600 pounds at a meet at 181, which I was pretty proud of, um, my piriformis, my SI joint locked up, and a whole bunch of other shit just quit talking and locked down. And I didn't have the ability to fix myself. Now, if I would have went right after the meet and saw Dr. Tyler Kelly, who I went to see, I searched out, he had worked with a bunch of the Olympic wrestlers and a lot of the athletes in town, If I would have searched him out then, I wouldn't have had near the problems ongoing. Instead, I tried to fix it myself. So I would search out somebody in your area, it sounds like you have a similar problem going on, that you believe can help you. And at least shed some light on and essentially diagnose what's truly going on so you can get a real plan to fix it. I wish I would have went back and, and went to him earlier to fix myself because I'll do the necessary stuff after they instruct me. But just know your lane, and I wouldn't uh, recommend just, you know, doing the talking to the guy at the gym to fix you. Go find a professional. They try to diagnose what you got going on and get you on the road to recovery. Yo, Corey G. Our next question here says, my squat last year was 435. I've been working hard to get back to there. I tried 400 today and missed. Do you think I just need to get used to having heavy weight on my back again? Yo, what's up, man? Great question. So. When I was working with John Bros and kind of helped create this whole conjugate squat every day thing, over time your squat's going to go up and it's going to go down, it's going to have peaks and valleys. And one day, like you're saying, you hit 435 and then the other day you're saying you're struggling with 365, I would just say that you got to charge that up to is the GPP work you're doing right now the proper thing for you? Are you going after your weaknesses? Have you had weight on your back recently as much as you did when you were doing 435? Is your nervous system trained up right now? So you got to kind of look at everything in a whole and say, why am I missing these weights? So I have outside stressors that uh, are affecting me. Am I missing fucking workouts? Am I missing my hydration? Really look at yourself as a whole, not just the weights you're missing. So like I just missed some weights and it was because I rushed my warm up. I didn't eat enough the night before. I know why I missed them. And so I would look at yourself as a whole and figure out what were you doing when you were hitting 435 that you're not doing while you're barely hitting 365 for a double, assess yourself, and then I think you'll get uh, the answers you're looking for. Yo, Corey G, our last question here is from Brian. 
Brian says, what would your advice be on business partnerships, and what would you recommend someone should look for in a potential partner? So Brian, people ask these questions a lot to me. You know, what am I looking for in a business partner? Obviously, I've had multiple business partners, good ones, bad ones, and, and whatnot. And I think that the big key is finding somebody that complements your weaknesses, but also somebody that can complement if you're both good at a certain thing and you can think tank it to really be, to create something great, which I believe John and I did a really good job um, at Max Effort. We're both good at branding and together we, I believe we're great. I think that also like if you're really good at numbers and the next guy's not, like John's really good at numbers, really good at negotiation. And I would say that's not really my strong point, but I know that about him. So I was excited for him to be my partner in this venture because of that. So I would say if you're looking at your partner or a potential partner, see the pros and cons of what you're good at, what they're good at, how you could work together. If you have the same, I think, goal or purpose is huge. And ideally, you know, uh, this is true to some degree some regard is my grandfather told me a long time the worst ship that sails the sea is the partnership but I don't believe that's true and it's similar to what, when you get married a lot of people complain about being married but I think it's because they're married to the wrong person so keep in mind when you become somebody's partner you're essentially marrying them so don't marry the wrong person <laughs> So thanks again for watching the Yo Corey G Show. If you want me to answer your question, hashtag Yo Corey G on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or send me a DM at, at Corey G Fitness on Snapchat. I appreciate all the questions. I enjoy helping out. And for all your supplement needs, maxeffortmuscle.com.